Welcome to the Pilgrim's Project. Hey people, it's the Pilgrim and welcome to Atlas and Fort Grimm. Um, the building mechanics are great, I just want to say that right off the bat. Uh, it's like they took the best of Castle Keep's Mod S Plus uh, medieval structures and it just makes sense because those mods showed how good the building system could actually be in this game. Um, the, the cool thing about it is the actual fort and castle designs now will actually be really effective in repelling assaults. You, know, you really want to funnel attackers into thinking that the main entrance is the easiest option and then at least you're getting them to come to where you want them. What I've done here, I've put like gun ports in. So, well, hopefully your whole, your whole company is going to be online when you get raided. Um, but if they're trying to assault this gate, they can't pull cannons up to it easily. They can't shoot it from, you know, out at sea with the ships. The gun ports behind, you can fire at them. Um, so it sort of keeps them, you know, on the toes all the time. They've got cover fire everywhere. Then what I did with the towers was just space them out so basically you've got crossfire from each tower um, that can clear the walls off at every angle got overlapping fields of fire basically so you've got everybody in there with the carbines or the blunderbusses you know just firing out when you're being assaulted you can sort of cover every single area so anyone with grappling hooks or anyone that's trying to blow through the walls or anything you know you've got them covered hopefully I mean this place is just the standard sort of um, what you'd probably call like a small citadel or the fortress in the centre um, the whole place is going to need like at least two layers of walls um, the surrounding walls for the, this part of the island will have like cannons on them and stuff to repel the ships but once you get people on land you don't want them to be able to get their cannons this close to this, this central fortress anyway so this will be like where you keep all your, your best blueprints and your treasure or whatever you're collecting um, and hopefully this will be a place that's only ever going to get assaulted on foot and a place where you can retreat to and defend and hopefully save the whole base from dying you know if you get a major attack um, I put everything here you should need um, I've put this little extra level in this tower just so you can sort of repair armor and make ammo and stuff while you're in here you can see there the gun ports like just fire straight out um, windows are covering every angle but yeah, I put like the boxes and the ammo crates in all the way around to make sure that you've always got them stocked up. Uh, make sure you've always got like water barrels and food in this place because if you ever have to retreat back to it, you know, you could hold out for a few hours fighting hopefully. I mean, most castles had entrances that were like hell to enter for any invading army really. But you wanted your men going in en masse and then overwhelming the defenders inside. I mean, cannons and gunpowder put pretty much an end to the medieval area, uh, era of castles. But the designs are still like really effective against infantry and small raiding parties, I think. Oh yeah, down here a bit like a basement, bit of a dungeon, put some um, jail cells in and stuff. There's like two layers of foundations on this section and round the sides there. Uh, the, the foundations are the same as half a wall, you know, for strength to get through. It's like 5k, um, walls are like 10k. So... I had to put like a half wall in there anyway, so it wouldn't make really much difference. Um, where was I? Uh, 
yeah, basically what you want to do is make the assault so darting that most enemies are going to think twice, you know, they're going to look at this place and think, you know, if there's people in there, I'm going to get slaughtered trying to get in, you know, so it's protection in itself. Um, you get like uh, Dover Castle and Crack the Civilier. Um, that's actually had the shit blown out of it in Syria for the last few years, but it's still standing. Um, yeah, they had like multiple layers of walls and paths that turned at right angles going up towards the entrance. So once you were through one part of it, um, you know, you had to sort of turn going between the walls and it just made it impossible for back, um, battering rams to get close. And they also had like surrounding walls of arrow slits in them and what we call murder holes as well, which is basically just a hole in the ceiling above the entrance and they just poured hot oil and just dropped stones for it, you know, right down onto the enemy. Um, and also every bit of the interior surrounding walls would have been covered by crossbowmen and archers shooting down into them. So if you like pushed a massive group of men down one of them entrances, you, you're going to lose thousands of them. But yeah, maybe see some big PvP engagements on this game, but if you had a decent place it would be a lot more fun. Anyway, what I've done here, you see the murder holes down here. So that's like right above the entrance. So if anybody is coming in, you can shoot down on them or whatever. Um, what I've done there on the left hand side is just use the slope doorways and I've put like a cannon and a puckle gun as well. You could put anything in there or just open it up and shoot down to the enemy that are trying to come up through the up the main stairs. But you know I'm basing all this on you know a, a decent amount of people coming in and just attacking you straight on. And we all know by now that PvP is never like the trailers. <laughs> people are going to find the easiest quickest way to raid you. But like I said, make it difficult for them, you know, as possible. But I'm going to keep building this area up and um, get it looking, you know, how, how I want it. Like a proper castle, proper fortified. Um, build some surrounding walls in it and like a little village and stuff. It'll look cool when it's done. Um, this server, um, now it's up and running. Um, there's plans to have it as part of a cluster. I'm joining up with uh, J Plays Games, TLC138 and GG Fizz. And it looks like I'm having my map. Um, as the creative corner of the world um, they're gonna have like a pvp zones um, and stuff like that but i thought it'd be like a cool place to record content you know for the channel um, and not get you know wrecked by the chinese halfway through recording the video but there'll be a good bunch of like youtubers on there and um, they're bringing all their like crews over and you know just get some decent battles and stuff and i can go and join them now and again but like on my server we're gonna have it where people can just like come and build and do stuff you know create content for the building side of the game so it'll be pretty chilled out where i am <laughs> this section we've just come through now i've done it like a bit of a commander's residence on top of the castle because the whole thing was just like stone and looked a bit stark so i thought i'd stick a bit of wood and you know make something different on top we've still got pretty commanding views over the whole island from here as well I'm, I'm really enjoying the game you know there's been a lot of like controversy over the release of it and everything but i don't know i can forgive him for that if the game's gonna run like this and i've done a slight bit on the official service you know going around collecting stuff um just sort of building up a little bit uh, i've had a bit of lag a bit of rubber banding but like i said no issues here whatsoever it's just me i built my own map as well um, did like a bit of an archipelago going around the back of the um, southern freeport so it looked like the, you know, when you get volcanic islands coming up so, so I did it like that um, I've recorded this whole build as well uh, I'll do like a bit of a speed build because once you've got the foundations down the rest of the build is exactly the same shape as the foundation so there's nothing really too complicated so I'll sort of explain that bit do the rest as a speed build so you can follow it um, and, and get that up soon as well there's a couple of things I really like about the building mechanics with this. Um, the roofs are brilliant. You, know, you pick one roof and you basically just cycle through and you get like, your ramp, um, stairs and the valid roof and sort of the triangle sections. It's all just on the roof tile so you just build roofs and when you're cycling through you can change them into what you want. Um, you've probably done it already but I mean I just love that idea because then you're only carrying around like three different types of things like your walls, your foundations. Uh, well four or five ceilings you know and the roofs and you can just cycle any of them into what you need one thing i do like as well is the triangle walls the half sort of sloped walls snap 
um, underneath sections. So you can have like the triangle any way you want. Um, and that just brings it so many different options to the game. And also as well, the half walls and the fences, um, you can snap ceilings to them. And that's something that's been brilliant for like S Plus and um, Castle Keep mods for ages. You know, being able to get like that, that little half step on the walls and things, it's just really cool. There's so many little builds, you, little things you can do with that. Those little two houses out there was just the first time I got on the server, I thought I'd go and have a mess about and see what everything was like. Yeah, so overall, so far, I'm pretty happy with the game, to be honest. I'm enjoying it. Um, yeah, if you like the video, guys, uh, you know, go and check out the rest of my channel, subscribe and all that lot. And if you could do us a huge favour, just like share the video on um, Twitter and Facebook and stuff like that. Just try and get my name out there, get people watching the videos. Alright, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.